right welcome back so we are having a little bit of trouble uh styling these things here now the thing is this thing is using uh, bootstrap so if you go to the header uh where is the header.php you'll see that there's a bootstrap here font awesome so if you're good at these things uh you are in luck because you can easily uh style things here but unfortunately i'm not good at bootstrap because i don't use it so uh i will do it the old-fashioned way so let's go to the this is what this is the sign up page is it okay so sign up page not the controller but the view and let me make a few changes so let me start with the div here or oh, this column right here let's add some styles of our own so let's remove a float here just in case there's any floating happening here mm. doesn't look like it has changed anything this is the right page yeah it is okay so then i'm going to say display inline and block i want to center it so let me put a style on the one on top and just say text align center Oh, finally, we're in the center. But there's so much gap at the top here. So let me use the form here style. I'm assuming there's a margin at the top here. I'll put it at five pixels instead. Okay, there we go. So uh, this is looking much better. So now I can type and put the password there. Okay, good. This is working very well. So let's do exactly the same thing for the the login page so where is where my login page at so that's the column here so right here we paste that let's remove word wrap and then on the row what did i put on the row that and then on the form i added uh, margin so save that let's go to the login page and there we go so uh, this seems reasonable i think keep me signed in login go to the log log sign up page back here so there's something here happening but anyway those are styling issues which you can uh, do in your own time and figure it out what we are more interested in is the PHP part of this. Okay, so let me come to the sign up page. Let's begin with our sign up because we need to create an account and actually sign up here. So let's go to where it says sign up. And right here, I will. Uh, okay, so definitely we need a database. So go to the PHP my admin so that we can create a new database so new our database will be eshop underscore db so create it now we need a table so we'll create the users table and hit go so users so of course we'll put an id for the user we want to use a, a user id in here so all we, we're going to say is url address underscore address that's a random number we're going to use to identify the user and then here we're going to have the name let me see what the website has what is expecting name email address and password so we have the name email password so let's add three more columns or four more columns here password and we want the date as well and we want the rank that's about it i think so you can add things like gender if you want but i won't add that so of course here the rank is where we're going to see whether this is an admin a normal user or simply a customer so i will use variable character here and just put a 20 just in case and then I think customer will be the highest number the longest thing that we have to put here so customer 
So I'll count how many these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's put eight there so that we don't waste space. A date time here, password variable character 64, since we're going to be hashing these passwords. And then the email, we'll just put 100 there, same 100 for name, URL address, let's put 60 there. And uh, ID is going to be big int, URL address is variable character, name variable character, email variable character. Let's make sure that ID is a auto increment and there's a primary index there. And let's hit save. Goody. Now we have to add some more indexes here on URL address, click on index, on the name, on the email. Uh, unless Actually, on the names, unless you're going to be searching by name with these customers, if you will be searching by name, then add the index. We don't need one on password. We will need, we might need one on rank so that we can see how many customers we have. And we'll need on date just to see who signed up when. Okay, so that's about it. So we have our table for users. And now just to give it a test run here, what we will do, let me refresh the page new user sign up let me uh where is this here there's a form actually there is no form here hmm. okay so let's put a form uh, on the sign up here otherwise we won't be able to send anything so i'm just going to say form opening and closing so let me move the closing section down here and then inside here i will make sure that i write method post like so okay that's about it now we go to the sign up controller up here so this is where things will land when we when we hit save there so let me create some space here a little bit i will move this up so we can do some stuff here before we display our template. So for example, we can ask if something was posted and to do that, we'll use the server um, request method. Normally when you, when you just refresh your, your page, the request method is get. So when something is posted, the request method is post. So we are checking if the request method is post and then we can do something. So here I can show, we're using our function, what was posted, so underscore post like this. So there we go, so let me refresh. Uh, oops, what did we do? Oh no, oh no. Okay, so I'm guessing the styling has disappeared because of the form that I've added here. Let me try and uh, remove this form for a second and see. Okay, so it's the form messing things up. All right, so, oh, actually we do have a form here. Oof, I'm getting blind. Okay, so right here, let's just add the method post like so. Uh, remove the action. We don't we don't need that Okay, so refresh and Let me type my name And then I will type my email address And then I will put some kind of password here The most secure password in the world which is password Okay, so now as you can see uh, when I've clicked here, I can see the post array there, which is very good. Post array right there. So now that we have the post array in the sign up controller here, we can evaluate some whatever was posted and then we, uh, we, we sign the user up. But if you've noticed, this array is empty and that's for a simple reason. Uh, these inputs have no names so let's give them a few names here except for the button 
so say name is equal to ooh, i have my cup locks on like so all right so this one will be name this one will be email and this other one will be password uh -huh. so it could be a good idea to make somebody retype their password so i'll say password to type password and then here i will say retype just so they're sure what they're doing so load okay there we go so let's give it one more spin so i'll put my name there email address uh, yahoo or gmail whatever let me try gmail and then password retype password password sign up okay so now we can see some information here popping up which is exactly what we want okay so in the next video we'll see how we're going to go about saving this information into our database